good morning and welcome to the sunrise with jesus i'm sure very many of you are living in the cities and when we want to find our way in a city we just follow the gps on our phone but when you go into nature when you go into the forests into the deserts and even into snowy areas we need to follow the trail so today we're going to look at the trail blazers that we all are now let us look at the purpose of friendships and family friendships and family have a very noble purpose and that is to lead us to god and you find among the saints some of the most enviable some of the most beautiful and strong friendships and one set of great friends was saint vincent de paul and saint francis de sales whom i'm very fond of and saint vincent de paul is the patron of the fathers who run the divine now vincent de paul and francis de sales were peers they spent a lot of time together discussing their faith and they became eventually great friends the saint francis de sales was known to be a very gracious and a very gentle a very impressive personality and his spirituality was so wholesome so centered on the love of god so life giving and vincent de paul admired francis de sales and i believe he would say if this human being called francis de sales has so much of goodness in him how good would our god be dear friends do you know someone like this who has made you long to see the face of god just because they were such beautiful personalities and what about you and me those who know us will they seek god or will they flee from god jesus says in matthew chapter 5 verse 16 he says let your light shine let your light shine so that people the others may see your works and give glory to god now when jesus talks about works and leaving an impression on people through our works he is not merely talking about our profession or the things we do or just the words we say well all this does bring a blessing to those around us but more than that jesus is talking about the impression the footprints we leave on those who are closest to us he is not talking about those who follow you on twitter or on facebook what they think about the clothes you wear the kind of house you live but he's talking about those who observe you as your lives pass through their lives especially our friends especially our family especially parents what kind of footprints do we leave behind the impression we leave behind is not so much dependent on the clothes we wear the achievements we have accomplished or what we have gained in life the impression we leave behind depends on the person we are there's something a ground rule that we learn in media and that is the man is the message who i am is what i convey now think about this we try to spend so much of our energies so much of our concerns so much of our efforts to impress the multitudes but in fact the impression we leave behind is like a song i sing and there's no microphone and there's no camera the song that i sing its nuances my voice affects impacts those who are closest to me more than those who are farthest away we may have encountered so many great thinkers the inspiration of even saints and yet you and i know we are who we are largely because of the people who brought us up our parents our siblings and maybe those whom we chose to be closely associated with dear friends every one of us are leaving behind footprints and if our footprints need to be commendable if our footprints need to last forever they need to be etched in the eternal our lives need to convey jesus as we listen to this message may we be encouraged may we be inspired 
to convey Jesus, to convey the goodness of Jesus, that those who see our lives may say, if this person is so beautiful, how beautiful would our God be? St. Therese of Child Jesus, who is popularly known as the Little Flower, had a great blessing to have parents who were extremely exemplary in their Christian life. Her dad, her father especially, had a great influence on the life of this little saint. This little saint, St. Therese, would often tell her classmates, Have you ever seen a living saint? If you haven't, please come to my home. Every evening, my dad kneels on the floor with his arms outstretched and he prays for each of his child every day. To see him is indeed to see a living saint. The little flower was able to experience in the praying personality of her dad, the living father, God himself. The Gospel of John, chapter 4, verse 9, Jesus says, Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. Jesus, in his life here on the earth, was able to reflect the life and the love of his heavenly Father. He was so much attached and connected to his Father that at every juncture of his life, he would be in association with his Father, whom he lovingly called as Abba. Every time he had to take a major decision in life, he would reach out to his Father, to his Abba, and seek to know what was the will of his Father. And because of this beautiful connection that he had with his Father, the people could experience in their life the presence of God. The people were able to see in Jesus the love of the Father. Jesus became a mirror of his Father. Each of us as Christians are expected to mirror God in our life. The love of God, the mercy and the joy of God in life. Do our actions reflect the love of God? Do the words that you speak reflect words of God? Do people come across us as people who are fallen in love with God and as people who are able to radiate the presence of God to them? Today, more than ever, the world requires people who not only speak about Christ, but rather by our lives are able to radiate Jesus and his love to the people. As a missionary was once told, do not tell us about your Redeemer, rather show us by your life that you have a Redeemer and then we will believe in your Redeemer. Yes, as Christians, our day-to-day -day living should be a mirroring of God's love and mercy to the people around. Jesus was able to do that in his life by going around touching, anointing and healing many lives and families, Jesus was able to reflect the image of his Father to the people. Each of us are given this challenge to do the same, reflect and mirror the love of the Father to the people. Let this day be a wonderful occasion for each one of us to discover ways and means to radiate the love of the Father to the people around and thus by our life let us always come across people who are truly and worthily Christians, someone who follows Christ, the Lord of mercy and love. May the name of the Lord be ever praised and may we always seek to radiate the love of Jesus in all what we do. May the name of the Lord be ever praised. Live Jesus. When you go to Hollywood, there is something called the Walk of Fame. And these are sidewalks where the impressions of the hand and of the foot 
of famous actors and actresses and directors and personalities are kept over there. And there are a lot of people who just would like to go and see that. Dear friends, we need to be leaving our handprints, our heart prints, our footprints in the hearts of people. In Catholic tradition, we hear of a certain Veronica. When Veronica saw Jesus suffering, she rushed up to him and she wiped his face with a cloth. And the impression of the face of Jesus remained on that cloth. It remained in her heart and in her life. Dear friends, every one of us, we need to receive the impression of Jesus on us. And it is then that we will begin to leave an imprint that becomes a blessing. Come, let us adore Jesus. Let us seek his face. Let us seek to love him because no one who comes to Jesus will go back without being impressed by him who is a fire of love. Jesus, we me. We proclaim you standing here of us we raise you up with our praise and as we worship your throne and as we worship your throne and as we worship your throne come Lord Jesus and take want me to do for you the Lord sees your past much 
is gone wrong with your past you have made a mess of your past and the lord wants to tell you this i want to make a new creation of your life whatever mess you have made of your life whatever mess others have made of your life i want to work on you i want to make you a new creation taking away all the pain from your heart taking away all the sin from your soul taking away all the sickness from your body because you are precious to me you are dear to me because i love you hallelujah 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 thank you jesus thank you jesus praise you jesus praise you jesus hallelujah 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 thank you jesus thank you jesus praise you jesus thank you jesus that's what jesus came for the son of god himself came down for this purpose that's what jesus did to Zacchaeus that's what Jesus did to every person who came to him in that saving activity God's love is manifested only God can do this for us and God is waiting to do this let us surrender let us surrender our life to him we shall not languish in guilt and despair let's not languish in hopelessness let's not waste our future for what has happened to us in the past the past shall not dictate terms to us the future belongs to god and god wants to take charge of our future let us leave it to him and he will take charge of it and he will mold our future according to his will and that's what jesus said in his first sermon luke chapter 4 in the synagogue in nazareth jesus said it so beautifully i'm come anointed by the holy spirit to bring the good news the good news liberty to captives the time of god's favor the time of god's favor and then jesus said in your hearing in your hearing this word is coming true today in your hearing this word is coming true to every one of us the lord is saying however sick you are however sad you are however broken you are the good news however bad news your life has become however aching your body is however guilty you are feeling however terrible things have turned out for you however impossible your life looks to be The Lord wants to take charge. The Lord wants to take charge of every ailment. 
the lord wants to take charge of everything of your life and turn turn your life turn your life to make you a new creation a new start a fresh start a new beginning the lord is telling you i have the power i'm come anointed by the holy spirit a god for whom nothing is impossible god is asking is anything impossible for me give your life give your life in the hands of god for whom nothing is impossible i know god knows there are my brothers and sisters here who ask themselves is it possible is it possible is there a way for me in the future god is asking them is anything impossible for me give your life in the hands of god and let us sing together
name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Our Savior. Surrender. Your past to Him. Surrender. Offer to Him your life. Surrender. Offer to Him your life. Jesus. We love you, Jesus. We praise you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus, we praise you. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We love you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you. We love you, Jesus. We believe in your power. We believe, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you. We praise you, Jesus. We trust in your mercy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. In the moments of our pain, in the moments of our troubles, we have a God who cares. A God who is waiting to intervene into our troubles. We are, we are not orphans. We are the children having a claim on the love of our God. Shall we say hallelujah for that? Hallelujah. 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 Let's all kneel down to receive the blessing of our God. Sacrament most holy. Oh, Jesus walked on this earth that we may walk as he walked. That people may look at us as they looked at Jesus and they may ask us saying, show us the face of the Father and our hearts will be filled like how we see your heart filled. And may we, like Jesus, be able to say, if you have seen me, you have seen Jesus. Yes, let us go forth into the day and spread the sunrise with Jesus. God bless you and have a brilliant, beautiful, blessed day with Jesus. The Ministry of the Divine Retreat Center needs your support as they continue in their commitment to preach the good news of Jesus through the weekly retreats, the daily online and television ministry, through the service of 3,000 disadvantaged persons, the mentally challenged, the aged, the destitute women, 
the sick and abandoned and economically disadvantaged families if you are inspired to share in this ministry through the sacred service of alms giving we invite you to send your love offering to divine charitable trust cd account number 04022310 0014 HDFC Bank Chalakudi branch IFSC code HDFC 0000402 and email the details to divine retreat center at gmail.com